For the better part of 2020, we have been planning a trip to Colorado. In this series of videos, we'll share with you our stories of cooking, camping, exploring, and our Intech Pursue trailers. We hope you enjoy. We are at Chins Lake, 10,400 something feet. We're up high. It's beautiful. We got here uh, Monday night, July 5th. We camped last night. We got here, it was raining. There was hail. It was challenging getting set up, getting everything level. But we got it all done. We had some nice cocktails. We had some dinner. The rain let up. We had a beautiful evening. Uh, it's about, I don't know, about 50 degrees, a little warmer in the sun. A little cooler in the shade when the breeze comes through feels great we couldn't ask for a, per a more perfect spot so we are going to be here till thursday hope i get a whole bunch of good photos and video so we'll get caught up here in just a little bit today and we're just kind of out exploring a little bit doing a little bit of hiking and picture taking planning some meals for tonight and I'm just kind of panning around so you can see what I'm looking at here uh, yeah it's it's quite beautiful I'm not sure what Winston thought of the snow but he seemed to really enjoy it so being who I am I took a cue from him and took a little plunge myself it was refreshing we were all really excited with the way we got the camp set up. Everything was working right, and we were just enjoying the day. And it was nice to just take a moment and pan around and look and see, once again, what an amazing place we were staying at. And we had this all to ourselves. Just a short hike away, there's this old log cabin that allegedly moves. We think that as the lake freezes and thaws, maybe it floats around, but some people claim it's never been in the same spot every summer. So we explored that for a little while and Wilson stuck his tongue out at the cabin. Go Wilson. We spent the rest of the day just being happy campers. I'm sure Julio cooked something great, but I didn't get any pictures of it. So sorry about that. We got a good night's sleep and got ready for tomorrow. cooking some kind of I don't know incredible lunch it's got pork he Watch says it's a... yeah he goes yeah just wait and see we're having food damn we're it, having food, damn it. so we are hanging out here at Julio's kitchen and uh say hi Julio I have this because of mosquitoes yeah they they, alive. they love him so which is great for me because they keep him off of me it's pretty <laughs> Once again, I'm slacking at my camera skills. I didn't record this to the end, but Julio's making an awesome coconut curry pork. Leave a comment below if you want the recipe and how we did it. After lunch, we had some brave visitors who decided to jump in the 40 degree water. It was quite entertaining. Later this afternoon, my wife Charlotte got really sick. Um, I think it was a combination of some medications she was taking and some altitude sickness. We had planned for this, we'd watched for the symptoms and we checked her out with a pulse oximeter and saw her oxygen was low. We got her hydrated and decided that we should move to a lower altitude. So we packed up camp and headed down the mountain and we found a good spot. So we set up once again and made sure Charlotte got plenty of rest. Before you know it, she was feeling better, and we we're back to camping. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, I even picked the right one. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. How'd you do that? Magic. Wow. 
The next morning, we packed up after breakfast and started heading towards Vail. Before we went to Vail, we made a pit stop in Silverthorne to visit the outlet stores and do a little shopping. Gratuitous picture of all three trucks and the trailers. We had a good time and then we got on the road and started heading up the mountain away from Vail towards Piney River Ranch. We were definitely feeling the heat wave that Colorado was experiencing and more dust. But we got camp set up in no time and we were back to camping. So we took a little walk over to Piney Ranch to check things out. Surrounded by public land, Piney Ranch is a unique resort that has a lake that overlooks this wonderful mountain view. They have canoes, horseback riding, a restaurant, and cabins for rent. After we got back from the resort, we relaxed for a little while, cooked a little bit of dinner, and started setting up for our evening. We're going to watch movies because we can. So once we got the movie started, we sat back and relaxed and enjoyed the rest of our evening. Be sure to stay tuned and join us as we continue our journey through Colorado in part three.